Hi! In this video we will see how to create this belt buckle using Rhino Emboss. As you can see I have previously created these curves and now the idea is to define the reliefs based on these curves. So first step is to start with the Emboss tool. First define the project settings, the measures, resolution here I want to delete the base, then you can define the cap type, in this case I'm going to define this one, and of course position and material. After this I'm going to start by add a new operation, in this case I'm going to define operation type extrude, and I'm going to select this outside curve. So. In here I can define the extrusion settings, in this case I want to extrude 1.5 mm 8 and I just need to refresh to check the results. Ok, I have my extrusion and now I'm going to add another operation, in this case by profile and I'm going to select these two curves. So the profile will be this one, so I'm going to adjust the gumball, and in the parameters I can define 1 mm 8 and style add to the previous operation. So I just need to refresh. Ok, very good. And now another operation by profile again. In this case, the curve will be the star. So and here I can define the parameters, in this case I want to change the profile, I'm going to choose the straight one, this one, and now I'm going to define add to the previous operations and I can adjust the gumball in here and in here I'm going to define, let's see, with 3 millimeter and refresh to check the results. Ok, as you can see the star was successful created and now I'm going to add another operation, in this case operation extrude and the curve will be the cross. In this case I'm going to define the parameters not add but union highest and in here just to make sure the extrusion is above the star so perfect just refresh to check the results ok as you can see it was successful created and finally the last operation I'm going to choose by profile and the curve will be this one. So I just need to define the parameters, in this case I want 0.58 and profile I'm going to define 0.5 as well and add. So I just need to refresh and the profile was successful created. As you can see this is really easy to define all the parameters and operations and after this I just need to check in order to add the mesh to the document. At this moment Rhino Emboss is computing the mesh and it will add the mesh to our document. Ok, now I'm just going to change the display mode to render so we can check the results. As you can see, the reliefs were successful created. And of course, we can use all the transform tools if we want to bend this mesh to define a round shape. So we can change after creating the mesh. We can use the band tool for instance to 
to apply a small band in this model. So this is the idea, here are the results, I hope you like it, thanks for watching.